So I'm just bringing you a quick video because I thought it was kind of funny and uh, I don't really care I'm sharing this buyer's name because, well, he's someone else to scam people. Um, it's, it's just a funny story so I figured I'd share it quickly. So if you guys see down here where my mouse is, I had a item up for sale. I'll show you it at the end. It's just uh, a couple iPod products that came out of a... Uh, recycling bin. I made a video a while back on a few of them. Uh, I think one of them actually came from a Goodwill auction, but the rest all came from that e-waste bin I have. Anyways, threw them all together in the lot, the keyboard, couple iPod things, and uh, it's sitting at like $38, not a lot of bids, and then it starts going up, 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 and it hits, I believe it was uh, $92 or $91. So I was like, oh, that's cool. This gentleman here, CA underscore TED, was uh, the highest bidder and normally if it was a buy now you can't check this and I'm not saying this happens all the time this is one time this year that maybe a scammer's even tried anything the rest have been just honest returns people changing their mind when they buy something but hey that's why we have returns so so he bids and I take a look at his feedback just you know out of curiosity right low feedback here's his feedback and if you guys are, are sellers you know you see all feedback here feedback left for others you guys seeing a trend here and even on the good feedbacks notice it says feedback was revised so he probably used the negative to get a refund some people have left other feedback about him so yeah you know reading through those I'm like oh god and maybe maybe he wouldn't have left a negative feedback I could have taken the chance but considering out of all of these you know there's like over 90 percent negative feedback I changed my mind so I went to cancel the bid and I canceled the bid and as soon as I canceled the bid he sends me a message and in the message why'd you cancel the bids and blah 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 and, and actually it was a very aggressive message and you know and then this is BS and, and all that so I just responded back with well sir you, I'm sorry to say you have over 90 percent negative feedback left for buyers and I just don't want there to be any issues or or anything like that um, and then basically kind of ended it at that anyways not 10 minutes later not 10 minutes later and remember it was uh, I just looked down at the sheet here it was $92 that he had bid up to automatically someone bids $92 and it's this name right here and uh, I called eBay on this guy shortly after to find out that eBay was actually investigating this person and I was not the first person to complain and they have already figured out that he was already banned through a different IP address. Anyways, it gets better. So I go, well, it's kind of odd that this electronics guy knew exactly that the other guy had a bid of $91, the original guy, none of these two, just a regular good buyer, and was able to bid at that with one bid. So out of curiosity, I click it again just to see maybe this guy has more than one account, especially after eBay tells me this feedback left for others boom a whole bunch of negatives so I call eBay I bring this guy up I say maybe unrelated but probably not I think this is the same seller eBay looks into it has the exact same address actually has it linked to the same PayPal finds it out automatically cancels this guy's bids for me and then the eBay rep informs me that this person is no longer on eBay and they have been completely kicked off eBay and uh, their IP address has been tracked again which I'm sure he's intelligent enough to make another eBay store but uh, sometimes there's scammers out there uh, yeah, I went through a few of his feedback and it was left for others and just negative after negative just like the other one and again like I said same buyer so I basically stopped some trouble from happening which was nice because I didn't need to deal with that. All right, so you can see it's only at $43 right now, which, I mean, isn't 91 that it was at, but it's all from good people. They have this, they have good feedback and everything like that. I don't normally check either. I was just kind of bored at work and just it went up so high. I'm like, oh, I wonder who the other guy bidding is. And I'm glad I checked. I mean, had I had it buy it now, he probably could have caused the issue anyways. But, you know, don't, don't look at it. Don't, don't take this too negatively guys because like I said in a year this has been the only incident this year where I've, I've had someone trying to screw me or legitimately seem like he was trying to screw me um, the rest were all just normal 
returns. A couple people returned it because buyer remorse, but hey, they returned the right item. There's no damage. They got their money back. Uh, a couple electronics arrived DOA, which dead on arrival. Yes, they could have been lying. I didn't ask to return them because they were ten, fifteen dollar items. I gave them the refund. They all like good feedback anyways, and they didn't attack me with negatives. They didn't open a claim. They just said, hey, it doesn't work. You know, I can send it back. So for the most part, people are good. I don't get really screwed over. I'd say once or twice a year, I either get burned or someone tries to get me. And you know, that's just part of doing business, guys. It's Walmart gets thefts. The local stores get theft. I mean, you just got to kind of count that into your business. If you do get screwed out of one of those items, write it off, move on. I guess don't dwell on it. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was kind of funny. Figured I'd show it. I mean, a little bit of a piss off when you see it happen. But, hey, I guess you can't let it get to you and wreck your day. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, have a good night. Bye.